Yep. I almost nearly forgot that giant portal actually teleports me to underwater. Hello everybody, it's Vita here and welcome back to Minecraft Survival. Uh, today, uh, I want to do something very different today and I also need to fix some of the issues in my base that I... Eh, everything was slowing down or items arranging, so which is what I'm going to do today. But whether or not if this one, if this video is going to be a, whether Minecraft Survival Series episodes or sub episodes, which I did some one time. Uh, yeah, I, I was building that uh, during the deco of my building, redecoing, you know, like decoration and villager infinite food now. The Villager Infinite Food, I found this on the internet that day, and that idea was so awesome. Now, I'll put it in the link description below um, to let to see it yourself, because this dude, he's, put, he's so awesome at that mechanic. So, fix the portal issue. I'll also get that in a minute, because I got some issues in the portal going on. So, yeah, starting with the chest. So, why am I rearranging in this chest is because... Um, I had the idea of putting a lot of armor, which you can see, it's not a whole lot, but I had something else to put armors right in the bottom right there. So it may not be that big, but I did already had armory, and um, for some reason they all moved. <laughs> I can't explain this, I can't even explain this, who moved all these things? <laughs> did I place all the waters? I don't remember. Uh, because I thought it'd be cool that I had some armor stands in the bottom, so that way I can get the armors quickly without opening the chest. I mean, maybe most of the time I will. So either I would move it here to there, or right there. All the items are rearranged, um, except for these blocks and... <laughs> okay, and for the middle and top. I think I'll move the, I think I'll move the color and color up there, but for now... I'm going to I'm gonna build the armory down there. Maybe. And eh, never mind. Okay, now I need to get my memories done right and remember all of this. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six. I mean, you should never stick straight down. Those are always the rules. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hear lava. Okay, and there we go. Um, it's not not really enough. Okay, an armor. You're coming with me. Why you got? Oh, and, oh, at least a good. Oh, okay. Breaking the armor stand, it gives all the armor back. Wait, what was that? In? Oh yeah, I forgot. I had these armors before. I I even had a turtle helmet, a very protective diamond, frost walker, and unbreaking. <laughs> Dang it! I I didn't I forgot the armors right. I didn't I forgot about the armors there. Okay, I'm gonna uh, dig another hole. Hmm. Wait. Oh, he's so all oh, the turtle the turtle shell has its own unique sound too. That's nice. Okay, thorns, leather. The I let the snowman let loose, and apparently he despawned. No clue why, but it just happened. I'll leave. I'll leave the last last one. So, how is my iron farm going? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What I said about the infinite, the villager infinite food. Uh, he also made. He act, he made a combination of two villagers. Which was really awesome, and I thought I could do that too. Uh, but I won't do that today because I need to do some 
reworking in my base like the stuff's item. Okay, the enemy. Oh yeah, and I forgot. Oh yeah, and if you barely saw what that was, that was my skeletal horse. I don't know how that's. How did my horse get there? He just fell right through. At least he's a skeleton and can't really die. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Two stacks of iron ingot and twenty-six. I'll just take it to my base. Okay. Ooh, I almost fell down. I might need. I'm gonna build that stairway there. Okay. Oh, wait a second. I I forgot to bring the. I forgot to bring my button with me. How civilized? Look at how civilized the village is. And yes, I know it's raining, and if I don't sleep, there's a phantom. But I. I but I don't really matter. Uh, for now. And I set up the bamboos as a set of wall defenses, and I think it's working effectively, perhaps. And apparently one of the golems spawned outside. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of golems, more villagers, and I gave them jobs by placing the blocks. And this is important for me because in case that I don't want to make another diamond pickaxe or sword or anything tools, I can trade a villager with an emerald, the en disenchanted enchanted gate with more powerful enchantment. That's how broken this trading is and how viable it is for me. That's why I like this. That's why I like the raid and village and pillage update. It makes a way better update. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the elytra with me because now I don't use I don't usually use elytra that much just because of the durability. Or maybe perhaps, or maybe that's because I don't know. I just usually like walking or just do my own thing. But for now, I need to use it. Now I showed you in my um, how to how to use the Elytra guide video. I did those videos like three years ago, and holy cow, that was the highest views I've ever had as I'm making in this video. So you just take paper, gunpowder, and that's it. Fiber rocket, and they have no they have no charge in here, no charge, just gunpowder and paper. You'll just fly indefinitely forever. So I'll take it off. Look at that. <laughs> this is why. This is what you do in Minecraft. Now I do want to commend you not to look down because you because when you look down, you will you will gain speed, and gaining speed is bad, or else you'll gather all that momentum and smash your skull. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, don't, don't look on the ground. Yeah, I mean, it does take a lot, it does use a lot of durability, so I'm gonna be more careful. Only in case of escaping. Oh yeah, even oh yeah, even when hitting on the wall also gives damage. I also did. I also mentioned that in one of my uh, Elytra Elytra Minecraft guide. It's on the end screen or in the link description below, just in case. I don't have to use the Elytra. I know where the path was. And you see what I mean. And I'm gonna show you the why. Does this happen? You see that portal deck there? I was planning to make a portal gateway to my base to there without elytra or without walking. Technically, I still walk. But watch where I teleport. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Before I know, I need to know. Look, I need to set my coordinate. I need to uh, type my coordinate.
Okay. So, do you remember this? I'm pretty sure you all know this. This is the level I... This is where I try to capture the gas. Uh, you know, like... Uh, capture the gas, teleport the gas all the way to the overworld, and kill the gas, and get the advancement, the unlikely of alliances. That was tough. But watch what happens when I go back outside. Yep. I almost nearly forgot that giant portal actually teleports me to underwater. Or specifically the lukewarm ocean. So yeah, this is a problem I, po I have found in. So I don't know why did it teleport me here, but I know the teleportation was actually over. But where teleporting was around 300 blocks away, X. It just teleported me right chunks away. So at least that was not too far, so I can go back there. Because I don't want this portal. I need a break in. This inside and outside the portal, just in case testing. Yeah, because I almost nearly forgot that this it did teleport me under, but why did it teleport me right in the ocean? Oh! What? <laughs> no! It doesn't work! At least you gave me free obsidian, thank you, but, enders, but the end is better. I mean, I kind of find the exploit funny, because I found this funny, I found the exploit of getting infinite obsidian. So I guess that was before... Before the ends update, before that even. Yeah. So I think I have to, I I think I have a better solution. I destroy the portal in the nether. So that way, um the end portal, the end nether portal gateway, uh should automatically build the portal uh in the nether. I hope. I hope that works. This is going to take a while, and going back home. Okay, this should work. Okay, there we go. Okay, oh, and there's the portal right there. At uh, wait a second. Okay, chunk. Look at that chunk here. One, two. Three. You know what this means? Because one chunk would equal to eight chunks. And I travel like three chunks in the nether. It makes sense why I'm like 300 block, 300, 300 blocks away. And there we go. <laughs> there we go. Now it is done. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's the portal fiction. Now that portal issue is done. I don't have to worry about that, but I'm going to kill you, Pigman. Now I'm going to travel back to my home. Okay, yeah, it did. Yeah, it does make sense. Wait, is someone chasing me? Okay, let's go back home and and end there. Sorry, I piglin. I will not fight you. Man, the elytra abilities are so cool. Oh yeah, and speaking oh yeah, and speaking of elytra, three years ago that I made a video about how to take no damage. That was the main subject. That was the main subject and the topic about that video about taking no 
damage using fireworks. Yeah, because wait, what? Wait, what? My armor's broken. I forgot to. Oh no! I had. Oh yeah, I had no respawn. I forgot about my elytra. Dang it! I forgot to wear my elytra, and I lost one. I'm such a noob. So thank you for watching this video very much. I'm freaking noob and idiot like that. Like, so I hope you have enjoyed this. At least that was pretty much that was pretty much it for that stupid ending. So goodbye.